Yeah, sure. Uh, so our current research aims to study astrophysical phenomena in a very well controlled laboratory settings. And to give you a context, uh, if you see the current pres observable universe, you see stars, galaxy, galaxy clusters, uh, all of this object uh, have a very high temperature basically. They, they hold uh, millions of degree temperature and when you have a millions of degree temperature, the matter in these objects actually converts to uh, so called highly ionized gas, we call it hot plasmas. And when you have a hot plasma, it emits usually lots of X-ray photons. So now if you want to study those uh, astrophysical object, basically you have those X-ray signatures coming out of those objects which carries the information of for an example let's say electron densities electron temperature in in this in those matters basically as well as it can give you an elemental abundance of stars and so on and give you an idea of star formations galaxy formations and so on now the question comes that how this x rays are produced in the first place so usually in the hot plasma you have free electrons and ions basically interacting with each other and uh, they emit X-rays. This is usually driven by the processes, at, uh, fundamental atomic processes, so-called electron impact excitation, de excitation. And when you have a photons, basically photons can also interact with ion and do photo ionization, photo excitation, and so on. So our, our research aim is to study this fundamental atomic processes using this device, so-called electron beam ion trap this device actually can uh, produce a small very tiny volume of that hot plasma that exists in those astrophysical objects and basically using the x-ray free electron laser we could actually uh, photo ionize or photo excites the highly charged ions which are trapped in 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 this electron beam ion trap So fundamentally any light you see whether it is an optical light or an x-ray light is due to uh, an electron in a quantum system such as atoms or ions are being excited and then relaxed to the ground state by emitting a photon. This is the light what we see. Now the question is that how much time this electron takes to come down to the ground state. This is what we call a lifetime which is a fundamental property of any electronic transition and the SQS uh, instrument at European XFEL actually provides us a unique capability to precisely measure the lifetime of this electronic transition. Particularly what we do here is that this particular instrument has a, a unique capability uh, of uh, generating two colors basically. So you have a two colors means two x-ray pulses with some delay in between. So our measurement scheme is very simple basically that we use the first color to excite a transition from the ground state to the excited state and then we use the second color to probe the population uh, of ions in the excited states. So this is the fundamental and when you tune the delay between these two pulse actually you can see the population of, exci uh, uh, population of ions in the excited states and you can determine the lifetime of that particular excited state. So this is what we do with the SQS. Yeah, so uh, there are many reasons, but fundamentally there are two key reasons. The first reason, as I mentioned earlier, that these transitions uh, and to know about the excited states are critical for uh, in the astrophysical context because that allows us to accurately model the X-ray spectrum that we observed from the space telescopes. And the second fundamental aspect is that we can precisely measure the, uh, this fundamental quantity such as lifetime and compare with the atomic structure calculations. And that allows us to benchmark state of the art atomic structure calculations. So these are the two uh, key advantage to probe such an excited uh, states with SQS instrument and electron beam iron trap. Mm -hmm.